Alright guys, so in this next video, we're just going to be taking a quick look at drills and reaming, which is a slightly different process to drilling. Okay, so drilling. Um, hopefully you've all had some experience doing some sort of drilling uh, before, especially on say your Warman project. So we start with we have two different types of drills or drill bits. Um, Firstly, we have our smaller ones, which is these ones here, where we have a parallel shank, and these fit in generally your handheld power drills uh, using the three-jaw chucks. Um, usually, probably the biggest size drill bit you can get for these is around 16, maybe 18 millimeters. Um, if you go to a hardware store, you'll notice you probably can't find them anywhere above that. For bigger drill bits, we use something that looks more like this, where we have these tapered shanks and this tang here at the end. So this is so we can hold the drill bit in the bigger drills in center, and so they rotate about their center more accurately than we would with, say, just a parallel shank. So here we just have an image of a drill press that you might find in you know a home workshop that sort of thing um, relatively small we've got this handle here that pulls down our um, drill bit into our material which we're drilling here and of course you can get these get bigger and bigger and on the much bigger size we have something like this which can start to drill holes that are several meters deep and of quite large diameter Another process to be aware of when drilling is countersinking. So this produces a finish at the top of your hole so we get this 90 degree angle here. And the purpose of this is so when we put a screw into the material um, it will sit either flush with the surface of the material so this top edge of our screw here will sit flush with it, this surface of our material here or even below flush so it might sit below that surface as well. So depending on what we're after we can use a countersinking tool there of different sizes. Uh, we also have a spot facing tool and this is something that I think might have come up briefly when talking about some of the detailed drawings. Um, so this tool as you can see it um, cleans up a surface around a drill hole at a certain diameter. Now the purpose of this, so we've got this image here and you can see we've got these holes where we've got these sort of shiny surfaces around the hole so they've been spot faced and because that gives us a nice flat surface um, we generally do that if there's going to have to be a bolt or a so a bolt head or a nut and washer going onto those surfaces to make sure they're nice and flat they're not setting on anything that's rounded that could cause some possible bending through those features. As you can see here this hole here has not necessarily been spot faced. Uh, reasons for that they might just not have gotten round to it yet or um, there might be something going through there that doesn't have a feature that has to be flush on this surface here. Okay, so just the last bit on drilling before we move on to reaming. Um, so with our drill bits, obviously we don't just have flat heads. Um, we've got these slight points to it, so this stops the drill bit from moving around when initially trying to get that hole started. And the angle here on these heads is generally about 120 degrees and in our drawings we put it 120 degrees. Uh, in reality it's actually 118 degrees. So when doing our drawings obviously we can easily draw this in knowing that angle, put that little hole in if we're not drilling right the way through an object. And by putting this little point here we're telling the person that it's obviously a hole that doesn't need a flat bottom to it so they can use the cheaper drill which is to have this point on it. If it needs to be um, have a flattened bottom to our hole we'd obviously need to 
have a different operation there and it's obviously going to be a more costly operation. Okay, so now just a quick look at reaming. So similar to drilling, um, but as you can see here, slightly different tool we use. Um, we have a flattened off end here and we have several more what are called flutes coming down uh, instead of just the sort of two that we have on a drill bit. So it's got a tapered end here to be held with and slightly tapered end here. It's tapered so when it enters, so it can enter a pre-drilled hole and then we can use a reaming tool to bring it up to size. So for instance, if I'm drive, drilling a 10 millimeter hole, we'll, we'll drill out a hole that's nine millimeters, you know, just uh, maybe a 10th or so off the right size. And then we'll use our reaming tool to bring that up to our exact 10 millimeter size that we're after. Um, we can also use little hand reaming tools and that's for making standard tapered holes and in these sort of holes we might be putting pins and that sort of thing through. We can also get um, adjustable diameter reamers. Um, they're not quite so common. Um, we'll generally just go and have different bits for different diameters um, but we can using this tool effectively create any size that we need so we can use this um, nuts to bring this up and down and gradually create slightly different sizes um, and get that tool to the size that we need. So that concludes everything on drilling and reaming. In the next video we're going to be taking a look at milling.